by way of introduction, I'm going to welcome you to Physicians Regional Hospital here in Naples, Florida. My name is Robert Zare. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been here in Naples now for 12 years. I was part of the Cleveland Clinic when I first came down here. The last three years I've been in private practice and I primarily focus on dealing with hip and knee replacements. Now, the last little topic on surgery I think is worth talking about is what's called a unicompartmental or otherwise known as a partial knee. Now, who gets that? Somebody comes in and their knee hurts right there. Just had a lady did that. Hurts right there. Doesn't hurt any place else. Her x-rays look like that. That's bone rubbing on bone. The outside looks good. Her kneecap looks good. Do I really need to do that whole knee replacement? Lots of doctors say absolutely everybody gets that, nobody gets a partial. But here's a, a fellow that I did this Rapici unicompartmental knee several years before and his other knee started to wear out and kneecaps good, outside good, only hurts here, so what else can we do? Currently I'm using a, a partial knee called the Oxford knee that was designed in Oxford, England. It's a mobile bearing, that means that the plastic kind of shimmies between these two surfaces. It's the only one like it in the, in the world. It's been everywhere in the globe since 1980, only in this country since 2004. And that's what it looks like on x-ray. So he's got a Rapici knee here, an uh, Oxford knee there. That's what it looks like from the side. And he's happy and he can't tell one from the other. Why even consider a uni knee? There's two big advantages. You're preserving this big ligament called the anterior cruciate ligament. First thing we do after we open your knee when we're going to put a total knee in is we cut your anterior cruciate ligament right out. Probably about 10% of you have already done that for me, so I don't need to waste my time because that ligament gets scissored by a bunch of bone spurs. But if you have it, that ligament goes. And the dynamics of the parts make up for you not having that ligament. But having that ligament makes your knee feel more natural. So we preserve that. In fact, that has to be there for us to do a partial knee replacement. And traditionally, a partial knee replacement will give you better motion. If your knee bends so that you can touch your heel on your rear end, you'll never get that with a total knee. But with a partial knee like this, odds are good that you will. So often you will keep exactly the motion you had in a total knee Traditionally, we don't brag about that. I'm ecstatic if somebody gets 120 to 130 degrees on a total knee. Many people do not come close to that. The other thing is my background is one in oncology. I'm a tumor surgeon by training, and there's always failures when you're dealing with cancer. So you're always planning, well, what's plan B? What's plan C? What's plan D? So if you start out conservatively and you're only taking a little bit of somebody and the next plan is go to a total knee, which other surgeons are already telling you, well, that's what you're going to get in the first place, you start off with more of you. And if that unfortunately fails, which a very small number do, well, you can go straight to a total knee, which I've done on a few occasions. And that's okay. So we lost ground on that. But if they got five, six years or more before the rest of their knee wore out, not that these parts failed, it's the rest of their knee pooped out on them. Well, then we go to a total knee and I don't consider that a terrible loss. So revision of a whole knee replacement, however, can be extraordinarily complex. Lots of guys don't want to bother doing them because there are lots of potential problems, including infections. And they only pay a couple of hundred dollars more than a primary knee. And if you don't do a lot of revisions, they can take many, many hours to do. So unless you're a very busy surgeon, you won't be doing revision knees very readily. Somebody asked me about how long do these partial knees last, and I, I always ask how long you planning on living, because if you're 85 years old, I don't necessarily need 20 years for most people. So here's the data on this Oxford knee. So 10 years, 15 years, 20 year data shows you got 91% of them are gonna make 20 years, and that's equivalent to data on any knee replacement out there. Nobody's able to say that their knee replacement goes better than 9 out of 10 lasting 20 years. There just isn't any. So if that lasts just as long, meaning the parts don't fail, that doesn't count the parts. If you put a partial knee in somebody whose whole knee's worn out, that's just bad judgment on the surgeon's standpoint. But if you chose the right person, that thing ought to last to the end, just like a total knee. 